Americans on the wrong side of gun and ammunition laws in the Caribbean are looking for leniency, but it's likely to be a long road to freedom. Here's our correspondent DeAndre Hamilton with the latest. The U.S. State Department has issued the warnings and will not intervene when it comes to how a country carries out its own laws when Americans find themselves on the wrong side of them. Matthew Miller, spokesperson for the department in a May 2nd daily press briefing, responds to media questions on the issue. Uh, when citizens of other countries come to the United States, we expect them to abide by United States law and we hold them accountable if they don't. And that is true um, uh, for people traveling overseas. But congressmen are independent actors and and 14 governors and senators have now galvanized to advocate for leniency in the case of five Americans charged with possession of ammunition from two to 20 live rounds in their baggage detected at security checkpoints in Providentialis and Grand Turk in the Turks and Caicos. Calls to the White House for President Joe Biden to get involved and bold statements on mainstream American media, including that U.S. citizens are being targeted, are enraging some islanders while others argue that in these particular cases, the time does not fit the crime. That time, 12 years in prison, unless a judge finds the circumstances exceptional and can issue a lesser sentence. On Tuesday, May 21st, Tyler Wenrich, a cruise passenger, appeared in the Grand Turk Supreme Court. His attorney argued that he is a model citizen, presenting 17 references. He has been locked away in prison in Grand Turk 14 days and will know his fate within seven. Monday, a congressional delegation landed in Provo but was told no to their most critical requests. The U.K. Foreign Office with local governor and premier saying we do not interfere with court judgments and sentences. Sentencing. The blowback now, harsh. The U.S. lawmakers telling Americans not to travel to the Turks and Caicos until their citizens are sent home. A direct assault on the country's leading industry and a message to discourage travel from its number one market.